Hi guys, welcome back. I hope your weekend was fantastic. We have a lot to do this week. I have a lot of really good things coming up. Today we're going to be reviewing Art and Fly pencils and after that I'm going to give you the hot deals of the week that I have found. These deals go fast so they're not ones that you really should wait on. They sell out really quickly especially when we find them at amazing price. Coming up this week, I'm going to be doing color correction. I'm hopefully going to give you a tour towards the end of the week of my new craft room. I've been working on it, and it's going to be all pencil all the time. So let's get started. I'm going to start with a review of Art and Fly because I had a lot of requests and people asking me questions about this set, and I really didn't delve into this set all that much. I bought it a while ago and it kind of got put to the side. Well, when I came back to it, let me tell you, I am blown away by some of the colors that come in this set and you cannot tell from the barrel. So let's dive right into it. The tin is beautiful. I love the butterfly. It gives you a lot of insight to what this set is like. Now, see the colors on this tin? These are fire colors. And this set happens to have some of the best fire colors that I've seen from any set. It's also got one that I don't have in any other set. Pulled out some of the pencils from here because I'm going to show it. Brown barrel, kind of like the Drewent has the brown barrel pencils. The colors don't do the pencil color justice. So while it's great to have these colors down here, if you don't have a good swatching of this set, you're missing out on... Uh, being able to judge it really well. Now, what they do have is very clearly written their colors right there on the top of the tin. And the colors on the tin, which I usually don't ever go by, those colors are closely matched to what you're getting in the set. So I was impressed with their ability to match that. Remember, not the barrels. Go with the swatch sheet, and this will give you some clue. This set has two layers, and it's uh, 72 pencils. So I'm going to put this to the side, and I'm going to show you some of the more rare colors that I found. If you like to do portraits, this is not the set for you. What it makes up for in the landscaping colors, the florals, the landscaping, and definitely fire colors, this is the set for you. If you like to do portraits, this set lacks just about everything to do with skin tone. <laughs> Let's put this to the side and I will pull out some of the colors that I really think you guys are gonna like. I like the fact that it's easy to read. The number of the pencil is not like odd numbers, like 4217 and then 36912. This actually makes some sense. They've put it in number order 1 through 72. You can find anything really easy in this set. So I was impressed with that. There are some really amazing colors in here. And the first one that I'm going to show you is Malachite. This is a weird color. Now, if you've been around me long enough, for a very long time, I was cutting gemstones. There's a stone called Malachite, which is a green Sometimes it's more on the green side, and sometimes it brings in the turquoise. Bring them together, they're called Chrysocolla. They have the pencil Malachite, which is on the green side. And if I swatch this, and I'm swatching it lightly, I'm trying to put a light layer so you can see this. It came out over here. Sometimes it's green. Then if you look up here, and you look in between things, it's got blue in it. And it comes out like the actual malachite stone. I was so impressed with this. And this is such a pretty color. And it's the only pencil that I've seen that actually does this. And when I saw it, I, I thought, oh, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I'm seeing things because I know I like the malachite. But no, there's like flecks of blue in it. Oh, very good. This is this is one of my favorite pencils. I love Prismacolor, and if you've been around me for a long time, you know I love my Prismas. The one thing it does lack is that color in between cream and eggshell. 
It's the color that you need when you're doing fire. When the center is not white and it's not yellow, it's smack dab in the middle. Now, don't go by the barrel colors because the barrel colors came up weird looking. They're not, they don't do it justice. Like, even if you just look at this, this is just a green pencil. You would never imagine it having those other properties in it. I'm like, there's the color. It's that pale yellow that's not perfectly white and it's not highly yellow. This is a great color for the inside of any fire. If you're doing candlelight, if you're doing the glow from a window, you have this color right here. That's the second pencil on this set of 72 that I think it's a very good pencil to have. I wish these colors came in singles, but they don't. What is the perfect red? Red splits when it starts to go from the blue to the orange. So you can have an orange red and you can have a blue red. There's a point in, in there that red is red and it doesn't hail both sides of the, the coin. And I found two reds that very, very close. And one is chili and that color is got, you can tell, is very close to neutral red, but it hails more on the yellow side. Next to it, they've got true red. True red was not really true red, because I really haven't found that middle of the road red where all life stops in the red family. You could tell it hails closer to the blue side, but right in the middle when you mix these up, you get that aha moment of the perfect red. And this is a beautiful combination. In my craft room, I'm, I'm only five feet tall. So in my craft room, anything that's on the bottom shelf is always the good stuff. Then it had pale marigold, which I also liked very much. Now, it's a little bit yellower, but made a perfect combination moving towards the yellow in fire so you see how this got pa very pale and then you want to move towards the hotter color you got this right next to it so it doesn't do it justice on the barrels you're going to just have to swatch it out and then what they have is their perfect yellow and i will agree this is a true yellow so there you have this is close to canary yellow. It, it would be like an in-between a lemon yellow and a canary yellow. So you have some really nice stuff going on in here. This is why this color is great for fire. Another pencil that I really liked was Morning Light, and that's closer to a lemon yellow, but still on the lighter side. So I'm loving this because you don't get this out of a lot of sets, this type of combination. Then it has a really nice fuchsia. And this color reminds me of, there's a color that Prismacolor does not put out anymore. And it's on their rare, and they call it Orchid. And this, you can't get it in Prisma. It's a rare discontinued color. It's not pink. It's not purple. It's right in between. Whoever did the curation of colors for this set did a fantastic job. This is absolutely another one of my favorite colors. This color, Melon really impressed me too. It's not a skin color. That's why I'm like, this set really doesn't have the skin colors, but I could see me needing this when doing portraits. So the set may not be good for portraits, but if you're doing a light skin toned portrait, this would fit right in there. It's a little bit on the orange side, but you can fix that, or it could be in a shade or more shady area. This blends in really nice. So that goes really well together. Another one that I liked, I know I'm doing some sandstone, which is a nice golden color. Reminds me of a darker goldenrod that has a little bit more towards the brown that I don't have in other sets. They have a true blue, which was nice. This set 
a very nice blue. It's not like it's an indigo. It's not a marine. It's true blue. So this could be gone with the blue greens because look how nicely this blends in. And this blue can also hail over onto the purple colors. And if I get out that fuchsia, you can see the purple comes out in that blue. Okay, and then they have three salmon, sunset, and carrot. Carrot is being your very orange. And then you have these two colors that flag the sides. This one being salmon. Which is a little oranger than I like my salmons to be. It's just the way they named it. But that blends up very nicely analogous with this one. And then if you go to the other side of it, you have a more browner orange that looks beautiful with it. But what I liked about this set is what you can do creating sunset and fire. And I'm doing this fast. I'm just picking colors fast. I'm happy you guys nagged at me to review it because it probably would have sat on my shelf and now it's going on my bottom shelf as one that I'm keeping. For those who like to do the water tests, I did find that these colors with scrubbing could be slightly water soluble and that's if I took a Q-tip and I really scrubbed hard. You can see it's not it's not moving all that much, but it moves a little bit. And I'm I'm actually damaging the paper. I'm going so hard. That's not how you test water. If you're gonna do the water test to see if your colors are gonna bleed, these are not watercolors, so every pencil will bleed if you scrub the paper. If you just lightly touch it and that color's not going anywhere, see just on the q tip, it's not really going anywhere you pretty much don't have to worry this is where I scrubbed and then you can kind of tell I sealed it and the colors didn't go you could see I, I just put a light seal on this and the colors did not run with the seal which is exactly what I wanted it for so this set is safe okay we got some hot pencil prices of the week I will leave the links uh, down below like I always do. Prismacolor went up in price. It's now running about $95 for the 150 set. But what I did find is a great deal. For 102, which isn't really that much more, you get a full 150 Prismacolor. You get a Kum sharpener and you get a the Marco brand black graphite pencils to go with it. So that's a that's a pretty good deal. That's a deal that I would absolutely take. It's from Jerry's Autorama. I'll leave the link for that um, matchup. The competition is really fierce this week. Right when I was filming my video, I double checked and Prisma had just changed their price. It was from $92 to $95 last week. They dropped it down to $88.94. The lowest price that I've seen is the 85, so the 88.94 is a good price. I don't know if it's going to go back down to the 85 level. The Prismacolor 20 set is still on sale at $8. Grab the set, it's the 20 pencils, but it comes out to 33 cents a pencil. You can always use these pencils, they've got really great colors. The Mark Art pencils are still at $18.99. Remember, we started at $13. So this is still at $18.99. It's still a great deal because these are 100% Nioni pencils. I had some people questioning, well, it has this, it is. No, it's in the Nioni box. I compared the colors to my Nioni set. They matched up perfectly. The inside of the Nioni box says Corum Color, and that's clearly marked on these this set so it's definitely the naomi uh, naomi is one of the nicest sets it's one of the most popular brands in china in their art schools and if you've ever used a naomi pencil they're the same they're almost identical to delhi pencils it's a beautiful matchup they're not sold on amazon except for this person 
who just happened to have remarked it. Andy, if you don't know who Andy is, he's my friend over at Starjoy Pencils. He is the owner of the manufacturer. He does the Starjoy Pencils, and I will give you a hint. I am helping him curate a set, which is going to be totally amazing. So that's coming up in the near future. Hopefully by spring, this set that we are creating will be out. The last hot price I found was for the Delhi watercolor pencils. This set has 24 colors in it. It is a water soluble. I have it here, but I haven't demonstrated it yet. It is really vibrant. Delhi always has good quality, so there are two. There's one with a silver barrel that's going for $12, and one with a black barrel that's $9.95. The $9.95 one is the one that I have, and the one that I really like. I have not tried the silver one. The black barrel is in the process of being restocked now. You buy it now, and they'll send it to you on February 28th. So those are the hot prices for the week, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.